I'm heading over to the electronics area at Target. <clears throat> anyway, let's see. Well, let's see what kind of items I see at the electronics area, namely by way of consoles. Since I happen to be shop, uh, shopping next door anyway to this, so I might as well take advantage of the fact that I'm uh, just right next to Target to buy stuff at Target. It. The Target electronics area used to be in this area here several years ago. It seems they shifted things around, so some people might have a hard time finding their way around. But while I'm in this section, might as well check this out. Refrigerator slash freezer. Not bad. Oh, a chest freezer. That's not bad at all. The only thing it's missing it's a lock. If I were going to buy a freezer, I'd buy one with a lock. So that that way, I wouldn't have to worry about someone stealing my ice, uh, my personal selection of frozen treats. Okay. Oh, looks like they got a fully stocked section of, uh, well, maybe not fully, but not too horribly bad either. Moto G Power, and that's a consumer cellular. AT&T, I think this is postpaid. That's why it says zero dollars down on there. But they have the accessories you'd need, including a wireless charging pad. Anyone could just buy that and it'd be useful even if they're not on the cut even if they are not getting a phone from them at least that's something that's useful for anyone that's got wireless charging capable devices okay now this is 600 wait they put the wrong thing here they put something that's on clearance for 75 or a, a 500 a 600 dollar thing is supposed to be I guess they ran out of Google Pixels. That's pretty, pretty unfortunate. They have Moto G uh, phones, so that's not too bad. Oh, I got sidetracked. I better get over to, yeah. Okay, Cricket. That's not too bad. Okay, I think I finally found the consoles. Okay. Looks like they have switch lights and regular switches. Unfortunately, if you're looking for the OLED... Wait, this one right here might be the OLED, but I'm not sure. But probably not. That might just be the other side of the box. Or something. Who knows? I don't see the word OLED on that one. So probably not. Looks like the PlayStation 5 is a, uh, is a ghost. Okay. The Xbox Series S. Okay. Xbox Series X. Now they're offering a free game code with purchase of Xbox Series S. So apparently the Xbox Series S isn't as popular 
as the X. And they're now trying to offer a free game code just to sell them. So that, that's pretty sad, but it's understandable because it has no disk drive, so it's pretty much hobbled out of the gate for anyone that wants to upgrade from an Xbox One S with a disk drive. And less than until they come out with an external disk drive, the Xbox One S, uh, the Xbox Series S, will be inferior to the Xbox One S in terms of being able to play physical games. <sighs> the Nintendo Switch and the Xbox Series S seems to be the one with the most supplies available. So that's not too bad. So two out of the four or five potential gaming consoles are available. So you could end up with an Xbox console and a Switch. For 600 bucks. 300 plus 300 plus tax and then you'd only have to uh, wait till eventually a PlayStation 5 becomes available if it does and then you'd have all three brands available at your fingertips that's great for someone that uses subscription services for the Xbox because that's about the only way you'd be able to enjoy it. Of course, there's a way around this. What is it? Oh, yeah. If they do come out with... Uh, when Xbox like uh, comes out with a D, uh, a uh, disc drive, an optical drive for the one uh, Series S to make it more desirable, they will <laughs> they will then sell a lot better. I mean, 300 plus maybe 70. Or maybe, if you're real unlucky, maybe 100 for their disk drive. And it will actually be a Blu ray drive. It would have to be the authenticated discs, so you'd end up being able to watch Blu rays on it. And that would literally make it an Xbox One S replacement. Anyway, hopefully they get, uh, hopefully the Series X eventually starts being more plentiful. Perhaps when the majority of people get their hands on the Xbox One, uh, uh, Xbox Series X, eventually demand would wane. So maybe within the next couple, uh, two to three years or so, maybe five. Where the hell is the damn car? Okay, I better quit now. <laughs>